Hi, this video is intended to show you how to use your FX82 to calculate the equation of the least squares line of fit and the correlation coefficient. There is a three page document that is intended to be used in conjunction with this video. So first of all you will notice that the calculator is in math mode so that needs to be changed straight away. So here we go, mode 2 for stat and this is what we want to be using so I press number 2 and you will notice that there is no frequency column here that's easily fixed shift setup down 3 for stat frequency needs to be on so that's a 1 and now we have a frequency column on the sheet there is a table of values and the X values represent years and those years go from 1 to 12 Two equals 3 you press equals after each one oops I've just typed 5 uh, twice that's easily fixed go back highlight and type over and press equal 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 and we can use the uh, arrow to go across and back to the top of the list and 25.2 22 22.2 23.9 23.4 14.4 19.3 20.6 15.1 10.9 looks like the data is now all in so we press AC and it's time to do some calculations so I'm going to be using the stat button here shift stat and we're doing regression, linear regression, so that's a number five. And we have five different things here that we can calculate. A represents the y-intercept of the line of fit, and B represents the gradient. R is the correlation coefficient. This one here, if I punch in a value of y, it will give me a value of x and this one here if I punch in a value of x it'll give me a value of y so let's begin in part a part one it's the gradient we are after so that's number two and press equals and there is the gradient of the least squares line of fit next shift stat 5 for regression this time we want the y intercept so I'm going to press 1 and then equals and there is the value of the y intercept if I was asked for the correlation coefficient I would press 5 and 3 and then equals that is the correlation coefficient and in part B they're telling me a year and the year is 1974 and that would be 27 years after the beginning of this experiment shift stat 5 for regression now let's see they've given me an X value and I'm looking for a Y value so I think I need to start again here so here we go first thing I need to do is put in the year 27 and then press shift stat 
and a five and a five and an equals and there is the y value.